Happy Holidays from Shifu Rita's Kitchen and today I am going to show you how to make the recipe I used for the Bali Bake Off. I am using the delicious Panaduro cake and from what I hear this is delicacy in Italy. So this cake is beautiful in the way it slices. Take a peek at that. It looks like a star. So you need one of these. You're going to need uh, a couple of packages of chocolate mousse. You use um, one packet with a cup of milk. Cool Whip, fresh strawberries, and also uh, I did some Nutella. So what I did was I took a half a cup of Nutella and I, I added um, a quarter of a cup of butter. And I melted the butter, added the Nutella, and so I was able to freeze it so I can shave it on top of my dessert now. Because I don't want to do a really long video, I'm just going to cut it in half to show you how to do the um, dessert. So my first layer, the delicious Panadoro cake. The second layer is the strawberries. The third layer is chocolate mousse. Fourth layer is um, whipped cream. And then I'm just putting Nutella shavings on here because you know what? It's the holidays and let's just have some fun. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, some messy hands, so excuse me. Um, that never happens, only when I film. So we first start with the cake. So I layer the cake first and I press it right up against the glass. So see how beautiful this cake is? And it smells like heaven. So I slice it and place it in the glass trifle bowl. So that was my first thing that I did. And then you want it to be tight, so you're going to take these little odd pieces and kind of fit them like a puzzle almost. And I think I can still cut a little more. So I use about three quarters of a cake when I make this and there's a little bit extra. So that's your first layer of the cake. Second layer is the strawberries. So I wash them, I cut them, and then I split them in half. And I line them up against the bowl. And I use the, sort of spin the bowl as I'm doing it. And it is such a beautiful dessert because when you um, serve it, it's like you get a little bit of everything. So I am making this today for my clients at United Martial Arts Center because, I, like I said, I entered the Bali Bake Off contest. I have a score that is just, I don't even know a word that can describe it anymore. I am like almost 1,200 points. I have 12 states and two countries voting for me. I greatly appreciate everybody's support, so I hope um, you will enjoy this video and you make this because it is so special, especially at holiday time. So I'm, cr I'm trying to go quick because I don't want it to be a long video. So you kind of get the idea, right? So I line the strawberries up against the glass. Then my next layer is going to be the chocolate mousse. And I have the strawberries already sort of um, sliced although some of them aren't, so it's going to take a little longer than I wanted. Um, so I just slice them in half, trying not to hit the cameraman, who's my husband, who actually has the patience of Job today, because I'm multitasking, I'm doing a zillion things in here, and I have not been the nicest person, so I apologize, <laughs> I really do. Okay, so this is the second layer, which is the strawberries. Now the third layer is going to be the mousse, and I made this up ahead of time. So this is chocolate mousse, and it also has a cup of milk. Um, I know some people that are lactose intolerant, so I actually use the milk that's called lactaid. So then that way everybody can have this, and nobody has to worry about, you know, having any digestive problems. So you just kind of smooth it on first, real simple. And then I kind of try to press it up against the strawberry so it looks really pretty. Because, you know, you want it to taste good, but you also want it to look good. It should look um, appetizing, don't you think? So this is your uh, third layer, the chocolate mousse. I love the close-ups. <laughs> don't get chocolate on the camera. Okay, and then the last layer before we put the shavings on it is the whipped cream. So, and again, I apologize, I'm doing this really quick. I usually fuss with it a lot more. Okay, then you um, can use whipped cream. You can use any kind. I just use Cool Whip because um, it, it, does, it does the trick in a, in a hurry. Oh, 
try not to get this to be messy. Okay. That looks good. You're not going to get to taste this one yet, okay? Because I have to serve this to all my kids over at United Martial Arts Center. That's why it's called Shifu Rita's Kitchen. That is actually what I really do is I'm a martial arts instructor. That's why it's Shifu, means teacher. But I love to cook and bake. It's a new passion. So then you take the Nutella. I love this thing. Look at that. So pretty. So I put the shavings all over the top. Oop, I just broke it. Just makes it a little, little easier to manage. Did you know you could do this with Nutella? You know now. So I do want to say thank you to everybody for voting for me. And this is the beautiful dessert. Okay, but there's one more thing. I did something special for my customers at United Martial Arts because they voted for me. So, Nutella dipped strawberries. Look at those babies, okay? So this is, um, for these I did, uh, let's see, half a cup of butter, a cup of Nutella. You melt the uh, butter in the microwave first. You uh, mix the Nutella so it makes a smooth consistency. And then you dip the strawberry, and I was lucky enough to get these with the stems. So I'm going to stick them back in my freezer so that uh, we can have them for class tonight. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for voting for me. I don't know if I'm going to win, but you know what? Um, I am so happy at my score. I can't ask for any more. So thank you so much, and happy holidays. Take care.